Just before we get into this video, don't forget about the giveaway that's going on on this series. Now, at the start of this series, I wrote a number down between 0 and 1,000. And what you guys have to do is comment down below with a number. And if you guess that number, you could potentially be winning 2,200 FIFA points. But if you do guess the number, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you are new because I'm only going to be picking subscribers. But... Let's get into this video. If you want the cheapest FIFA 20 coins with a ban proof system, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description. If you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Let's get into it. Oh, what is going on, guys? Ellie 96 welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, we are back for another episode of how to make 100,000 coins in FIFA 20. In the last episode, we made quite a few coins based off players with a shadow chem style on them. If you've not seen the other episodes of this series, make sure to go and click up here or over here. There will be a little tab where you can go and watch the full playlist. And we've basically been trading with players who had chem styles on them, specifically shadow chem styles. And in this video, it's going to be the exact same. But I just want to show you guys everything that's sold on so far we made quite a lot of coins i think overall we made around 50,000 coins roughly and i know the intro on this video is slightly different but i just want to jump and i know the intro on this video is slightly different but i just wanted to jump straight into it to be honest so we're going to clear all of our sold items and i'm going to show you guys where we are up to now two of our cards didn't actually sell on i'm really struggling to sell on this caldara so i think i'm going to list him up for Three hours, maybe? I'm not too sure. Also got Halston Moku, who didn't sell on at 4,000 coins. We got him at 2.9k with a Shadow Chem style on him for whatever reason. He isn't selling on it just yet, so I am going to bring this price down ever so slightly, just to 3.9. Hopefully, it will help him sell on ever so slightly. In addition to that as well, I've managed to get myself a Sydney card, who goes for around 3,000 coins with a Shadow Chem style on him. So, I'm hoping that we will be able to make a pretty decent profit on this guy. So, I'm going to go over here, set this special filter off. I'm going to reset the pricing over here, and then we're going to take a look to see what he's going for with Shadow. As you can see, I think he's going for absolutely any price, to be honest. So, with this guy, I'm going to list him up for a price. If he doesn't sell on, we'll bring his price down ever so slightly. But I always go higher when I'm listing these players up because if we go higher, we can always bring the price down. I'd rather go a bit higher and potentially get that sell on rather than going lower. It's selling on for cheaper when we could have got more coins. Now, this method that I'm using is basically a method where you search up players on the market, see what they're going for with a shadow chem style on them. And then when you pick them up, you try and sell them for a price a tiny bit higher than what you would do if they didn't have a chem style on them. So as you can see right here, I managed to get myself a Danny Rose at 3.5k. Now, Danny Rose is someone who has actually popped up quite a bit when using this method. So, we're going to go over here, go over to Danny Rose, and I'm going to show you guys how much he's going for his Tottenham card with a shadow on him. So, as you can see right here, 4.6k, 5,000 coins. So, we got ours at around, I think it was around 2.9k, something like that. So, that one we can actually sell on for around 4,500. I thought I got it for 2.9k, but I got it for 3.5. Honestly, my memory is absolutely terrible. In addition to that as well, we've managed to get ourselves a Kimbembe, 2.7k. I wish there was a quicker way to show you guys the price of these, but every single time I have to come back over here and go and show you guys the individual price. But we're going to go over here, go over to Kimbembe and take a look to what he's going for in Shadow. As you can see, he's going for around 3.5k roughly, so not the best deal in the world, but we did actually manage to get it at an okay price, so we will be making a couple hundred coins profit on this guy. My Managed to get him at 2.7k, so I'm just going to list him up at 3.4k. Managed to get myself a Rulison or Russellin, I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name, at 2.9k. With these normal gold cards, they're not the best deals in the world, but we did actually manage to get ourselves some very, very nice special card deals. But go over to this guy right here, whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce again. He's going for around 4,000 coins, roughly, with a shadow on him. I'm going to try and maybe undercut ever so slightly. There's one there at 3.9, a couple up at 3.9, so I may go for around 3.8 just to undercut other people on the market and list him up for three hours, I think. Three hours is a good enough time, so we'll list him up. But we're going to be moving into our good deals, and we've managed to get ourselves a Kenny Lala for 16,000 coins. Now, this guy, normally, he's going for 16,000 coins, so this is a very, very good deal, considering that we've got him with a Shadow Chem style on him. I'm going to go over to Special. I'm going to go over to the market. I'm going to search up a Special Shadow, as you can see right here. 17,750, 17,500, 16,750. Once that one's 
sold on, we should be making a pretty decent profit. So I'll just keep an eye on that one. And we'll list ours up for around 18,000 coins, roughly. I don't mind waiting a tiny bit longer because a lot of these are only up for an hour. There's not really anything up for any longer. So we can list ours up at around three hours. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to show you guys how much we got in for 16,000 coins. So I can list mine up at 18,000 coins, make an okay profit. And then we've managed to get ourselves a Sydney as well. 83 rated Sydney at 19,750. Now this is probably one of the better deals of this episode because if we go over to Sydney over here before he was going for a lot more than that price but as you can see right here he's going for whatever price we want to set him at. So we're going to come over to the transfer list, go over to the Sydney card and I'm going to be the tiniest bit greedy and I'm going to list him up for I think 28,000 coins and we should be making around 10,000 coins profit on that. One of our cards is sold on straight away so that's perfect but once all these cards have actually sold on we should be sat around 60,000 coins roughly. I think in this episode I'm going to try and get up to around 80,000 coins around about and then I'm going to upload the finale of this series on Saturday and then I'm going to be getting out a video on Sunday which is a good video on how to get a free team of the season card potentially potentially I need to double check the method first but we need to wait for all these cards to sell on I'll keep you guys updated when we come back and I may show you guys me actually picking up some of these players as well so you get a better idea of what I've been doing today because I've been using a completely different method again this method seems to change all the time I don't know whether to do a dedicated video or not on this but let me know down in the comment section if you want to see that or you know what actually I might even leave a poll if I remember but yeah I'll be back in a sec so guys we are back I've done Mm, tiniest bit of trading, tiniest bit of trading, but all of our cards have actually sold on. We've still got this Caldara up. These all sold on within probably about an hour and a half, so not really too bad. I'm pretty chuffed, to be honest, on how we're doing. We're up to 46,000 coins, and we've managed to get ourselves another Suarez with a Shadow Chem style on him. Now, I've managed to get this guy for 18,000 coins. Now, this guy's price is fluctuating ever so slightly. When you guys remember, I think I listed mine up at like 33k last time, but as you can see here, he is up on the market. 27,000 coins. Now a card has just gone off the market at 25,000 coins so I don't want to go any higher than that because I know that someone else has a card that they could list up the tiniest bit cheaper than me. So what we're going to do with this one is go over here 18,000 coins. I'm going to list this one up at 23,000 coins for three hours and I'm going to do a bit of a trading session now and bring you guys with me. Get up to that 80,000 coin mark roughly or the or the about. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I've been doing for trading today and this is exactly what you guys can do as well. What you need to do is go over here, set them in buy now to 10,250 and you need to set the max buy now to however many coins that you have at the time. Now right now I've got around 46,700 coins so I'm going to set this to 46,000 and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I've been doing. So I start off with the Premier League, I go over here, I go over to right back, then I go to centre back, then I go to left back, then I change the league. So we're going to start off with right backs and basically what I'm looking for here is any cards who are looking like they could be deals within the 50th to 59th minute before then there's not really any point looking at any of these cards because if they were a deal they would have been picked up already so what we're looking for are any cards who are in here who look like they could be a good deal and what we're looking for are any cards who are similar to the base price without a shadow chem style on them so I'm looking through here and to be honest I'm not really seeing anything which stands out too much taking a look over here right back anima triori at 25,000 not too sure that there really is anything here to be honest I may have a look at the Adama Traore in a bit more detail and this is basically what I do. Every time I see a card who I think, you know what, he could be going for something, I search up sort of away from the transfer market without those filters on and I take a look at the individual player's price. So for example with Traore here, he's up for 25,750, his next one up though, 26k, so there's not a deal there. So once I've done that, I go back over to the Prem and I just change it to centre backs and I just take a look at these centre backs as well. I go over to around the 50th to 59th minute. Typically at the minute, these cards are going pretty quick because they are pretty active if, if that makes sense like with everybody being on the consoles today everyone is pretty much picking up cards as quickly as possible so it's it's proving quite difficult to get deals today i'm not going to lie but in center backs not really anything there so i'm going to go over to left backs and have a look at the left backs as well and basically when you do this a couple of times you'll start to realize who goes for what if you can write them down or if you can put them in a spreadsheet or whatever it may be it does help out quite a bit i've not done it because i don't take my own advice because i'm an idiot 
But we're on the 55th minute now, and I'm going to be looking to see if we can see anything. So there's a Klasnach there on the 59th minute. He's not really a deal, that one, considering that I can see another one over here at 21 to 50. It's not really a deal, that one. So taking a look at these, there's not really anything. So once you've had a look through a league like the Premier League, you just go over to the next popular league, not League 2, League 1. And then we go through and take a look with League 1 as well. And again, you start to sort of pick up who pops up a lot. So with Ligue 1, I know that Benat's always up, Renato Sanchez is always up, and the Man of the Match guy's always up, and the Marcel's always up, and I completely forgot what PlayStation account I was on. Just ignore the name. Just ignore the name. So whilst I plug in my controller, I'm going to carry on scrolling through and see if we can actually find anything in left back for a decent enough price. But if I'm being honest, I'm not feeling too confident with left backs right here, and we jumped up to the hour mark as well. So Again, when you go from the 59th minute to the hour mark and it's over the hour mark, you know it's not a new listing because it's an hour and five minutes. You can't list that up, so that means that someone's listed that up. It's three hours and it's got down to an hour and five minutes left. But if we go over to the 59th minute, we could find ourselves some deals, but there really isn't anything at the minute because you can see here that the price of some of these cards just isn't low enough because there's so much cheaper available. So go over from left back, go over to centre back, and this is basically all I've been doing. I just keep cycling through as much as I can do. If I see any cards who I think are a deal, I add them to my transfer targets. I go and check the price without a shadow on, and I check the price with a shadow on as well, and then I basically work out how much it would be. So Glick is someone who I haven't really seen much at 34k though I think it is quite expensive considering that people can come on and buy themselves a Kimbembe or a Gay or Kura or whoever it may be no one really wants Glick at 34k even though he is there and there aren't any other Glicks that I've seen no one really wants that so that's another thing to bear in mind you need to make sure that you're finding usable cards so we've already had a look at left back so I want to go over to right backs now and we're going to do the exact same things with right backs and this is exactly how I found Kenny Lala before actually for a pretty cheap price now Kenny Lala and that other guy who we've just seen are usually the only right backs who do pop up so if there's anything else that's lovely however there is a Debushi here who could be a shout actually. So I'm going to go over to Debushi over here and with us finding one at 22,000 coins, that one here at 18,250 isn't too bad because I think that I actually bought one the other day at 22k or I listed at 22k so that one's been up for half an hour so that's the only thing that's really putting me off with this card is the fact that it's been up so long no one's bought it just yet so I'm sort of thinking in my head if no one's bought it yet then no one's probably going to buy mine at 22k so I'm probably going to leave that one. So what I'm going to do I'm going to keep cycling through and I'll come back to you guys when I have actually managed to find a deal because I don't want to be boring you to death there's so many other things that you could be doing rather than me watching me just sit here and try and find myself deals on shadow chem style so i'm gonna go through i'll come back to you guys when i think that i've found a deal or when i've actually managed to get myself a deal again i don't really want this to be too long finding the individual players because sometimes it's not the best profit in the world so again with this one with the syria i'm just gonna go to around the 59th minute is there anything delete there 41 there's a team of the year nominee uh I don't really know about this one. 37k on a Manalas. I'm not too sure how much he's going for. There's one there at 44. Yeah, Manalas, that's probably not a deal, to be honest. All right, lads, I've bought a few more cards, and I'm pretty confident these ones will sell on pretty soon. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick up these, and we should be getting a pretty decent coin amount once these have sold on. Fingers crossed, anyway. Fingers crossed. So I managed to get the first player in Troost. Econ, what a name, 15 and a half thousand coins. And if we go over to the transfer market right now, you will be able to see that Troost Econ is going for, let's take a look in shadow. As you can see, there isn't really anything else up of Troost Econ in a shadow. So I feel like we've got ourselves a pretty decent deal there. I'm going to take shadow off and just see how much he's going for just without any chemistry styles on him. And as you can see here, we have actually got him for a very, very nice price because his normal card is going for around 18,000 coins. Roughly, we've got ours at 15,500 coins and there's one there at 15,750. But either way, that's a really, really good deal. So, with that Troost Econ, I need to stop saying his name, I think I'm going to list him up for around 22,000 coins. It should give us a pretty, pretty nice profit once that card is sold on around 7,000 coins profit. We're still waiting for our Suarez to sell on at 23,000 coins as well. In addition to that as well, I've managed to get myself an Ion, I think that's how you pronounce his name, at 14,500 coins. If we take a look at this guy as well, I think that he's a... Another one who's going for quite similar to what we picked up at. So he's going for around 13,000 coins, 12,000 coins. If we put a chem style on him in a shadow, he is going for... 
nothing. So we've actually got the pleasure of deciding his price with a shadow on him. So we're going to go over here, 14,500 coins. I think that I'm just going to go for 20,000 coins on this one. I've still got 16,000 coins in the bank right now. So I may go for one more player whilst I wait for these to sell on. So I'll be back in a sec. So guys, again, I'm back. Obviously, some of our cards have actually started to sell on, which is very, very nice. Indeed, still waiting on a couple of these guys to sell on. But we've got a whole host of new cards that we can take a look at. We have got... Ta, Gomez, Kappa, Tete. Lovely stuff. So, Ta, I've managed to get for 4,000 coins. This guy is roughly going for 4,000 coins as well without a shadow on him. As you can see right here, he is actually quite expensive with a shadow on him. He's around 6,000 coins roughly. We've got him for around 4,000 coins, so pretty decent profit there. I've got a message on my PSN about opening... Rewards and someone else asking me if we can talk. No, we can't, unfortunately, because I'm making a video, baby. So, I'm going to list him up for 5.5k over here. Also got myself a Joe Gomez for 3,000 coins, which is very, very nice indeed, considering that he is actually going for quite a bit with a shadow on him as well. So, we're going to go over here, go over to Joe Gomez, 6.2k. As you can see right here, he's going for around 6,000 coins, roughly. I think the minimum that I saw before was around 5,000, roughly. There or thereabouts. Let's take a look. As you can see right here, around 5.5k there's one there at 3.8k i'm actually going to pick that one up and then the next one after that is 4.6 but i think that one will go pretty quickly so i actually managed to get ourselves another joe gomez so i'll list this one up at 4.5k and then with my other one i'll list that one up at 4.5k as well and then i've got both of the cheapest joe gomez on the market which is actually pretty decent so i'm going to come over here joe gomez here was 3k very nice very nice very nice and then we'll list them up at 4.5k next to him we've got kappa who i got for 2.8k and again I'm just using the method that I was using before just going through and just cycling through as much as we can do and we're going to go to Kappa over here we need to take centre back off and we need to take this off and you and Jeffrey is very very keen on me getting in a party with him which isn't going to be happening because I'm 24 years old and I don't want to go to prison so we're going to have a look at Kappa there isn't really anything else on his normal card on at the market at the minute so we're going to go over here 2.8k and we're going to list this one off at 4.5 5k and then finally we've got Tete who I got at 3,000 coins and I'm pretty sure that his next one up when I checked before was around 4,000 coins or something like that. So we're going to come over here, go over to Tete, we're going to see what he's going for with a shadow on him. I'm just going to search up at 6.2k. There's one there at 3.5k which ideally will go pretty soon. Some cards have actually sold on of mine so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pick that one up at 3.5k, list this one up at 4,000 coins just to make a tiny bit of profit and then I'm going to list the other one up at 3.9k and sort of undercut myself. But I think that's a really good place to leave this video. It leaves it on a bit of a cliffhanger. I know that you guys are probably thinking, oh I wish that you just hadn't done that but it's one of them. I think we've got quite a few cards in here now who we are sort of waiting to sell on. Just want to double check that it was 4,000 coins that we went for. So We've got quite a few cards waiting to sell on right now. So we've got this 3.9, 4,000, 4.5, 5.5, and then we've got loads of informs as well. And as soon as all of those sell on, we should be in a pretty good place going into the final episode this weekend. So, lads, if you've enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. I'd probably say that this is my favorite trading method at the minute. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series. If you are, please do drop a like on it. Honestly, it helps out so, so much. I don't want to sit here and beg for likes and explain why likes are important but basically the more that you like this video the more that this video will get recommended and it just helps me out massively just to make sure that i can keep doing this on a full-time basis so if you want to help me out just a like on this video would be appreciated but that is where i'm going to be leaving it for this video if you enjoyed lads drop a like on it but this is 36 this has been how to make 100,000 coins episode 4 is it now in fifa 20 team of the season edition hopefully you guys are enjoying this series but i am off goodbye